Let's talk about how to recover your hacked Facebook account without any email, phone number or any password. Just use in your Facebook profile name or your Facebook ID. As well as I'm going to address those issues. No longer have access to this option is not available. As well as we will fix this error call. We don't recognize your device. Then I invite you to watch the full tutorial before you start. Otherwise, you might be stuck in the middle of the recovery process. You can't go through this recovery process multiple times. If you go through this recovery process multiple times, Facebook will identify you as another spammer or hacker, as well as they will temporarily block this feature from you. So you have to recover your account within 2-3 attempts. There are different ways to recover your account. You can either use your Facebook application or you can use your Instagram Messenger or Facebook Lite, Messenger Lite or Instagram Lite application. Because now on all these accounts are connected to each other in Meta Account Center. If you recover your account using one application, it will automatically recover through it from other application too. So if you want to find out other methods too, you can find out all the video links and related links in my video description. Go and check it out. So if you got an error using your mobile version or mobile application, you can use a different version of Facebook. Like you see in the video, these are different versions of Facebook. If you use those version, you won't get any problem. So if you don't want to get any error, I invite you to don't use your original Facebook application. Instead of using original application, you can use one of your browser. The reason is this. If you visit official Facebook page, they have posted this one. It says there are some issues accessing some of their products. So until they fix it, you can use another version of Facebook. You can use the web version, business version or basic version. So in this video, I'm going to recover your account just using your mobile browser. Here, you don't need to use the same browser that I'm using right now. Open any browser that you used to log into your Facebook account within last year. Or you can use your default browser. After that, just tap the search bar. Then type and search Facebook Help Center. Then you have to select the very first search result. After that, you will get this one from here. Tap the hamburger menu in the top right corner. After that, you have to select manage in your account. Then you have to select login and password. The first one. In the next window, you have to select the first one login into your account. Then you will redirect it to this window. Even in this window, you have to select login into your Facebook account. Then scroll a little bit down like this. Then you will get this section. This is the section we need. If you are having problems, login in. Then you are select the first one. If you are having trouble logging in, find out what to do next. Somehow, if you can't find this section, but don't worry. Now I'm going to show you from the beginning. First, take a Google search Facebook Help Center after see the very first search result, then come to Facebook Help Center here, then tap the hamburger menu, now tap manage your account, then tap login and password, login into your account, again select login into your Facebook account, after that scroll down a little bit, then you will get the second topic under that you can see login into your Facebook account on your mobile browser, here select the second option. If you are having problem, login in. Here, don't select reset your password. We can't reset it because we don't have access to our email and phone number and everything. So you have to select if you are having trouble to log in, select find out what to do next. You have to select this one in blue color. Find out what to do next. Tap that. Then you will be redirected to another window. Now you can find this one, recover your Facebook account using the find your account page. Here either you can tap this one or, or you can tap if you are having trouble finding your account using finding account page. It is better if you can select this one. I will explain again. After that recover your account using Facebook finding account page. Then you have to select this one if you are having trouble finding your account using find your account page. Just tap it. 
then you will get this one here scroll down at the bottom you can see if you think that your facebook account was taken over by someone else then select let us know just tap one after that you will get this one hacker and fake account under hacker account i will scroll up a little bit here select recover your account if you think your facebook account was hacked or if someone using it without your permission here basically you have two options the first one get started button the second one visit this page in this video we are going to cover these two methods let's move to our first method you can tap get start button if this method didn't work for you you can try out the second method so now tap get started button from here there are some few questions the first one if you think that your facebook account was hacked we can help to recover it firstly can you tell us what's happening select the first one someone else gain access to my account after that they will ask another question Sorry to hear that your account has been hacked. Are you able to log into that account? Select the second one. No, I can't log in. After that, they ask the third question. Do you have access to the phone number or email address associated with the account? Select. No, I don't have access to the phone number or email address on the account. After selecting these three answers, someone else can access. No, I can't log in. No, I don't have access. Then finally, you will get this recovery or account, in, account finding link. Here to go forward you have to select this link www.facebook.com slash login slash identity. After that it will redirect to another window. Here you can see this other option search by email address or name instead. Here like this I will enter my name. You can see here I will explain a little bit. Here basically you have two three options. As the first option, you can search by your mobile number. In some case, hacker has changed it, or if you didn't add any mobile number, you can stick to the second method, search by your old email address. I highly recommend you to first it is better if you can try with these two options. If you try to recover, if you try to find the your account using your old mobile number or email address, you can recover your account easily. Because they ask less question about your account to verify yourself. This account is really belongs to you. So first try out with your old phone number. Then there is not a phone number. You can try out with your old email address. As well as I invite you to turn on all the location and all other permissions while you are recovering your account. Sometimes it asks to access your phone contacts as well as you can give them to storage permission like that. It is better allow those permission to recover your account. All they do this thing to verify yourself. Here, if you don't have access to mobile or email address, worst case scenario, you can stick to third method. You can search by your account. You can search your account using your full name here under email address enter your full facebook name i will type it like this like this you can see after typing tap search then facebook will start to find your account if you have turned on location and all these tabs they will find your account at the top of the list you can see my account is at the top of the list after that in some case, in the worst case scenario, if you can't find your account even within this list, but don't worry, you have another option. Select I'm not in this list at the bottom. Then tap that. Then you have to enter one of your friend's name or your city name or your birth month. In my case, they asked to enter one of my friend's name. Enter any friend's name that on your Facebook profile. It doesn't matter new or old friend, enter one of your friend's name. Like I said earlier, you can see after selecting that, they will find the exact account which is belongs to you. It doesn't matter if you select your account from the list as well as if you use your friend name, find your account, you will get the same option like this. Here, since they asked to enter login code, since we don't have access to our email or phone number, I have to select this option. Try another way. 
So tap try another way. Then here like earlier it has only two options. Either get code via email or enter one of my transfers that I created within last year. Since I don't have access to these two, I need that option no longer have access to these. And also I want to clearly mention if you have that no longer have access to this option, just tap it and go forward. You can follow other instructions. So you can skip the next part of this video and jump into next chapter. As well as if you go forward, you will get this error. We don't recognize your device even within your mobile browser like this you can see but don't worry stay tuned we can fix this error by using different urls or different versions of facebook like i said earlier now we move to our second method so open new tab now tap the search bar after you have to type and search this url type exactly like me m basic dot facebook dot com after you have to hit a slash, then type hacked, H-A-C-K-E-D. This is the URL should be mbasic.com slash hacked. Now tap the first URL to search it. After searching, you can exactly get this window. You can see this is not the mobile version, not m.facebook.com. This is mbasic, the basic version of Facebook. Then you can read this notice. If you believe your account has been compromised by another person or virus, Please click this blue color button. My account is compromised. After that, you will get this page. This is not our current version of Facebook. This is the old version of Facebook. So here, to get back to your account, you can, they ask to enter current password or old password. If you remember any old password, just try to log in, log into that account by entering it here. If you try to access your account using your old phone number or old email address or any old password, they easily find your account and tracks this account really belongs to you. After that, they allow you to recover your account without any error. As well as here, if you use your Wi-Fi connection, you can switch to mobile version. If you are using mobile data, you can switch to Wi-Fi mode. As well as I highly recommend you to turn on your location. Then Facebook easily can track your location and identify your account as well as it is better allowed to access your contact details, phone details and your storage permission for your mobile browser and the all meta applications. Here I will explain the worst case scenario since we don't have access to email, phone number or any password. Just tap forward password button. Here tap search by your email address instead. Under email address, you can just enter your name as you remember. And also here I highly recommend you to first try out with your old email address or phone number. If you can't find your account using old email address and also if they said that no account match that information, you can just try with your full Facebook name. Like me, under your email, enter your full Facebook name as you remember, then tap search. Then Facebook will provide a pull list of account which have the same name, most probably the first one is yours. In my case, you can see most of account don't have any profile picture. So I can't identify which account is mine. Like me, if you can't find out your account within this list, select the last option. I'm not in this list. In the next window, they ask to enter one of your friend's name, birth month or your current city. In my case, it asks to enter one of my friend's name. Enter any friend's name on your profile then tap search. Then Facebook will find out the exact account which is belongs to you. This is my account. Here they ask to send a login code to my email address. Since I don't have access to my email address or phone number, here I have to see the last option, try another way. Tap that option to go forward. After that you can see no longer have access to this option is available. Sometimes you can't find this option with your mobile version, but in basic version, it has that option. If you tap that, you can easily go to recovery page without any error. So I will go back to show you. I will do that again. This is not a fake one. You can see if you tap try another way, you can easily recover your account like you do in normally. To explain you, I will go back. 
Here, like earlier, it has this option, send code via email, as well as enter any password that you create within last year to log in. Since we don't have access to this recovery method, we need that option, no longer have access to this. Under that box, you can see that option. After tapping that option, you can go to recovery page. From here, they mention basic three steps, as well as you can see right now, I'm using the basic version. To add new email, tap restart, then they allow to add new email address. Now I will show you how that error occurs. I will tap the address bar, then I will edit the URL. Here I am using basic version. So I will remove basic word, then I will use mobile version. If I convert to mobile version, you can see I get that error. So to fix that error, you should not use m.facebook.com or mobile.facebook.com. Instead of these two subdomain, you can use business.facebook.com or web.facebook.com or mbasic.facebook.com or batch.facebook.com. Like that, you can fix other error called we don't recognize your device problem too. Again, you can see if I go back and use m.facebook.com, I will get that error. So you don't, you should not use mobile version. You have to use the other version as well as I will show you another version of Facebook. I will tap the address bar and I will edit that. Then I will remove the word in basic. Then I will enter the word batch.facebook.com. After searching the first search result, you will get the same window like earlier, but this is a different version. Here, to go forward like earlier, tap try another way. Then, like earlier, we get the same window in different version. Here, I will zoom in like this. You can see, no longer have access to this button in blue color. Since we don't have access to our email or phone number or any password, select no longer have access to this. Then Facebook will allow you to add new email address. Here, what happened? Here, this what happened when you use mobile version of Facebook. Like, I will change my URL after changing the mobile version. You will get this error call. We don't recognize this device or something went wrong. So what you have to do? Basically, you have to change the URL to another subdomain. Once you change it, you can see this three step to recover your account. Here, I will stop the first part from here. Otherwise, this video will be longer. And also, if you want to watch the second part of this video, you can click this end screen video and come on over. And also, if you face any problem or any error, let me know in the comment section. In some case, if this method didn't work for you, you can try out all other methods using different application of Meta Company. I will put all relevant link in my video description. Go and check it out. That's it. Later.